Snapchat is known for uh, creating or allowing you to create certain pictures that you can send to someone, and then after you send it to them, it'll disappear after a little while. It's known as the sexting app because let's keep it real: people like to send nudie pictures to one another without worrying about the consequences later. Don't well, I know it? If any, do you know it? Oh, the Please. number of nude pictures I have received. Zero. <laughs> anyway. Correct. So if any How of did you, you know? <laughs> if any of you were naive enough to think that Snapchat deletes the pictures and you'll never have to deal with the consequences ever again, of course you were 100% wrong. It turns out that Snapchat pictures can actually be sent to authorities if they have a warrant to see those pictures. So uh, recently, uh, the administrators over at Snapchat did admit that they had to hand over at least a dozen pictures to the authorities. In fact, they released the following statement. So what is a circumstance when we might manually retrieve a snap, assuming it is still unopened? For example, there are times when we, like other electronic communication service providers, are permitted and sometimes compelled by law to act access and disclose information. Look, uh, I'm less surprised that they're releasing information to the authorities. Now it, every single company apparently has to just give all their stuff to the authorities whenever they ask. Mm -hmm. We've gone through this a million times with the NSA. Um, but I think you're wrong if you thought everybody thinks that Snapchat stores the pictures. I would guess that a great majority of the people who use Snapchat thinks, no, no, no. Pictures actually disappear, but they don't. Snapchat stores them. Like that's the most important part of the story. Of course, Snapchat stores them, and and I do know that there are people out there naive enough to think that that picture will disappear and it will never come back to haunt them. But there are a number of different ways where the person you're sending those pictures to can store those pictures or those those messages without you even knowing about it. So Snapchat itself allows a screenshot or sc a screen capture feature. However, if someone captures that image, you get notified about it. So you send it to a dude. The dude likes it. And he's like, let me do a little, you know, screenshot because I want to save this for later. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you'll find out about it. But then there are other apps that actually allow that person to save the images without you even ever knowing about it. It's just the second app. And there's a perv at Snapchat looking through all your pictures. What? Okay, so they claim otherwise. There are two, I don't believe that for are, a second. There are supposedly two employees at Snapchat that have access to manually retrieve these images. I don't know if I believe that, but two people makes me uncomfortable as well because, or two people make me uncomfortable as well because, I mean, I don't know who those people are. Yeah, just don't send naked pictures, dude. Just don't do it. I mean, how many times do we have to give that advice to you? It's just they're a never bad gonna idea. Listen. They're not going to listen. <laughs> their, chief, their chief technical officer, Bobby Murphy, apparently has access to them, and Mika Schaefer, their head of trust and safety, has pictures of them. Okay, so look, if you're comfortable with a company having nude pictures of you forever, that they might or might not look through, that they might or might not give the government access to, that they might or might not give other people access to, go ahead and send naked pictures that you think are disappearing in six seconds, but they're not disappearing. 